Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. Today my update is going to be Totally Tomatoes. An update on the single seed challenge. So this is the Red Dragon tomato plant that I started off on the 16th of February. As you can see it's got quite a few leaves on it, it's looking quite healthy. I'm now going to pot it on into a larger pot. So I have this square pot which is much deeper than the original pot and the tomato plant has been well watered. You can see the roots are really well developed and ready to go out into another pot. You can bury tomatoes deeper than when they were originally planted. I don't know whether you can see here these little nodules at the end there that will be where roots will come out so I'll just put plenty of compost round the root ball And this will be the last pot that I'll pot it up into until it goes out into the garden at home. I'll probably be putting it in a grow bag or in a tub in a few weeks time when there's no danger of frost. I might put a short bamboo stake against the stem just to support it and keep it growing upright. But it should do well. I am quite pleased how well it's doing. Here's my update for the single seed challenge. Now, if you don't have any tomato seeds, there is a very easy way of getting some seeds for you to grow some tomatoes. So what I've got here is a supermarket cherry tomato, a little pot here just squeeze open the tomato and squeeze out some of the juice with the seeds. You can see there's plenty of them just in one cherry tomato. And all you need to do now is just add a bit of water to the pot because what you want to do is sort of rinse away some of the jelly like pulp around it because that can inhibit the tomato seeds from germinating. So I'll just add a little bit of water now. There we go. And just Mix it all around with your finger, simple as that. That will help to rinse off the seeds a little bit. Won't completely, but it'll uh, rinse it off. And then, and then you just need a piece of uh, kitchen towel, kitchen paper, over the top. Pour out the moisture basically you're going to catch the seed on the kitchen paper and if you let that dry out now tap it with another piece and let it dry out. You'll basically have seed that you can then plant. And I'll show you me doing that and we can see how quickly these seeds will germinate. I've cleaned up the seed now and put them onto 
a fresh piece of kitchen towel let them dry out so these are the seed now that I've got the easiest way to transfer them is to wet the end of a label or your finger and stick the seed onto the end of the label and then transfer it to the compost I'm going to put about six seeds in this tray the variety is a variety called piccolo which is a sweet cherry supermarket tomato and all I'll do now just cover them over with a little bit of compost just sprinkle it over the surface I've already made sure that the compost in the tray was plenty moist enough don't need to cover them very deeply just need to be a little bit under the surface at this time of the year they should germinate in seven to ten days and be ready to be pricked on in about three to four weeks it's now been two weeks since I planted the cherry tomato seeds five of the tomatoes have germinated so far they're all looking pretty healthy there's one there that's still got the seed coat over the leaves I've made the mistake before of trying to pull that off and it damages the leaves so the best thing to do is just leave them and they'll push the seed coat off and the leaves will extend outwards one of the seeds doesn't seem to have germinated so far but it may still emerge all I need to do now is wait for the tomato plants to generate a couple of pairs of true leaves as opposed to these seed leaves and then I can pop them on I'll update you on that in a later video one of the other things I want to do today is to pot on these tomato seedlings that I've been growing on the windowsill at home this is the variety cocktail crush they've been in here since the middle of March all I'm going to do is just prise out a couple of plants tomato seedlings this size pretty sturdy so you can handle them a lot of people say you should only handle them by the leaves but at this stage you've got no problems push them down towards the bottom of the pot then top up with some more compost now this is a variety called cocktail crush they're related to crimson crush but are a smaller tomato cocktail size tomato so they're probably maybe an inch three centimeters across each tomato haven't tried these before but I'm gonna give them a go this year they are a blight resistant tomato so should be fine grown outdoors 
so we'll see how they get on with the summer we get this year the other one that I uh, got out I'll just put in this pot these leaves here are the seed leaves they will just die off very soon so you can just remove those probably best for me to take those two off if they're below the surface of the compost because they'll just rot anyway they've done their job now the seed leaves they've sort of uh, provided the plant when it first germinates with some food but now the true leaves are present so they can do that job so just uh, label each one so you know what you've got in them so I'll carry on growing these at home a little bit longer before I put them out in the greenhouse and in the garden Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's Allotment. I'll see you again next time.